Gentlemen, welcome to another amazing episode of Let's Play Gothic 2 Night of the Raven. Now, what's new? Nothing much. How are you doing? Hopefully you had a good day or a weekend or whatever. So grab some popcorn, make some tea and let us begin. Adventure awaits. You have to take on the bandits. Today as you probably can see I have another amazing t-shirt of the Witcher, but there are more. More? Yes. Another? Another the Witcher t-shirt? Yes, there are many. You have no idea how many we are. We assemble here and then we take over the followers of Eros. Yeah. Don't know if you can see it properly, but uh, yeah. Uh, let me do it like that. Like that. So yeah, it's the... The Angry Joe army. I love that guy. I love him. He makes great reviews. So we are many. We won't be here too long. We'll assemble. We will take over the followers of Eras. We are many. We don't know how many we are when we wait. Wait a second. How many are there? Yeah. It's a lot. And two of those. That's another one. And that's another one. And uh, where is the CD project red official mark? And there we go. Yeah. Those guys made such amazing Witcher game, just think how how Cyberpunk could turn out. Yeah, another Witcher, <laughs> yeah. You got more? Yes, I got more, don't you worry. <laughs> Here you go. How many of you are there? Many. We are freaking many. Witcher is the best. <sighs> what? More? Yes, even more. Even more. There are many. We'll take on the followers of Eros. Our time here won't be too long. And this one, I wanted to do a let's play today. With this one instead of the red, I just unpacked it. What happened to it? Around the neck there was a huge marks. I don't know how it came, but it had a huge red marks. Uh, it's some kind of rust. It uh, somehow my necklace of the Witcher collided with my sweat or water or skin and uh, left huge red marks here and it split all over the shirt and was ugly. So I had to apply some bleach. So uh, it's very wet right now, so it's a no go. It's a no no. Was it all of them? We'll see. But for now, all oh, they will be well. Here are many. You have no idea how numerous are those who await this time of freedom. Cries of lamentation will flood across the land when we go out into the world. To free the world of the barbarians who call themselves the guardians of the fire. Our gathering here in the temple will not last long. Yes. You forgot about the ring. No, I didn't. It's a... Uh... Witch ring, you see the the wolf symbol, and inside a little bit, as, as you can see. Let it focus for a second. There is a the the Witcher Wild Hunt logo inside. Come on. Yeah. I have the gold version here as well. It's still sealed. Don't know if you even can can tell let me take it out it's barely visible it's just a white color on gold even I have problems seeing it yeah there we go it's just shiny sweet but I'm just waiting for the the black one to to fade or something like that so I can use the gold all right let us go Just uh, 
not just two five minutes ago I finished watching the the whole live stream of uh, Borderlands 3 and man oh man what a game I'm really excited to play that game it's been a long time since I was excited to play some game yeah the wait was uh, worth it but uh, we're still not there it's only going to be released somewhere in September and not only that it will not be on Steam it will be on Epic Launcher so when it officially launches on Steam, it will be April 2020. Fucking insane, man! I can't be, I can't, can't wait already. Yeah, the build of this hub, the trailer, shit, man. The trailers and everything, it looks so good. Really want to play. It. Come here, you rat catch. Still under some good impressions from Borderlands 3. Man oh man, what a game. It seems that it becomes more and more, or less and less, I should say, Borderlands I mean, the, the first one was Borderlands, yeah, you can clearly tell. The second one improved and kind of drifted the other direction the third one psh, they introduced a slide they introduced the uh, ledge grabbing uh, what they introduced there as well some new mechanics some mechanics uh, alternative fire modes very freaking impressive you can use the uh, what what is uh, ice and fire on the same gun i don't know i uh, should i talk about it or shouldn't i because i don't want to spoil anything for you if you want to check it out go and watch it uh, it's on YouTube now it's on other sites so yeah I can't wait for that what else Metro Metro Exodus still haven't played it although I was excited those bastards that made it exclusive same with Borderlands it will be exclusive on uh, Epic Launcher unfortunately now how I deal with those jokers there are four of them some have bows, those with the bows will probably stay in place, the others will chase after me, will use this to sleep. Hello. You're in for it. Really? Are you? You too? Damn, that other one coming closer. Come here, come out. Not too fast, you'll get your turn. Come here, bruh. Brigade. What's really con about Blue Hunter when you do that overhead slice? Oh. Is that when you lean uh, forward like that? NPCs can hit you in the face. It's like kneeling and then BAM! Uh, it's really funny. That's a really big, big, big con. You need to be careful. You need to really calculate your distance. You need to be aware of that. I can't believe I became that casual. Remember, uh, Gothic was for hardcore players, you know, no hand handling. Need to figure things by yourself. Where? Ooh, he was behind the chain. I didn't even know it. Let me take him. Ah, damn it! The other one was a lure to me. Shit, that's what I was trying to prevent from happening. All right, he stopped. What's taking so long? Ooh, close. Oh. Yeah, it's really hard. It becomes really, really hard. I can't sneak. Oh damn! You in for it now? You're. Ah!
Come on, man, go to the city. Master Torben misses you. What else is there to take? If I want, I'll take. If I want to kill, I'll kill. If I want to live, I live. Yeah, if done. I want to you take, do. I take. Wolf skin, work belt. If I yeah, want you good. to die, you Norman. die! Ah. Elric. Thank goodness. Elric, the bandits yeah. are done for. You have saved my life. Who are you? Who are you? My name is Elvridge. I come from town. Master Thorben told me that you had disappeared. Those lowly scum dragged me off here and were keeping me prisoner. Lovely scam. Lots of people are missing in town. What exactly happened to you? What happened? Florian. Florian. What exactly happened? What happened to you? I was on my way to the rendezvous I had set up with my girl. Her name is Lucia. We've been planning to get away to the mountains and away from the town and all those who live there. I had just arrived at the meeting point when suddenly some of these bandits sprang out from the underbrush and captured us both. I put up a fight, of course, but to no avail. There were just too many of them. You didn't happen to see them. There is something you overlooked. Usually when you plan something big like that to go away from everyone, you need to, pl to plan how you're going to hunt and survive. Because food won't be easy to come by, yeah? You need to be a good hunter and know how to survive. What did the bandits want with you? Sometimes I could overhear them at night. I didn't get everything, but I think they wanted to make us slaves. Where were they going to take you? To a place somewhere here, on the island of Corinnus, but I think one can't get there without a ship. They brought me to a mooring place on the coast. Some pirates were camped out there. One of the bandits approached the pirates to negotiate. They were having a fierce argument. I think the bandit wanted the pirates to ferry him somewhere, along with me. But the pirates wouldn't have it. So the bandits withdrew, and we've been sitting around here ever since. They seemed to be rather at a loss, and then you came. And I came, yes. Pirates in Corinus? You can't be serious. Pirates in Corinus? I don't know very much about them. I first clap eyes on one of them at the mooring place. They always stay in the background. Every single one of them is a wanted criminal in Corinus. They're afraid of the gallows. <laughs> That's why you're never going to meet one of them in town. Of course, aren't you afraid of the gallows? Because I am. That's one of my most fears I have. Choking or uh, choking. Where's the pirate's mooring place? Not far from the harbor of Corinus. When you stand on the quay and look out to the sea, all you need to do is get a boat and go to the right along the coast. The first small bay you come across is the mooring place I was talking about. Tell me about Lucia. A girl from the harbor district. She used to work for that horrible Bromor. She's very pretty. Mm -hmm. As far as I remember, she wasn't that pretty. But uh, it's uh, in the eye of the, the holder, yeah? Did the bandits who held you captive receive a shipment of weapons? Oh yes, so many that they could barely carry them. They took the whole caboodle and disappeared towards Sekop's farm. I don't know what that uh, word is. Bromor says Lucia walked off with a golden dish. Well, if Lucia really stole from Bromor, the bandits will certainly have taken the thing from her. Where's Lucia now? We parted ways at the big crossroads in front of Onar's farm. The bandits dragged Lucia off to the woods behind Sekop's farm. May Enos protect her. Uh, of course, sure. Lots of people are missing in town. I don't know anything about missing people. I can only tell you what happened to me. You should get yourself back to town in a hurry. What else would I be doing? I'm going straight back to my master Thorben. Will you go look for the bandits? Well, yes, I think so. If you find Lucia, get her safely back to town, will you? I'll see what I can do. Uh, she's not even here. And no, she won't go back.
What time is it? I'm going to sleep. Day 18. Did I pray today? I forgot. Well, then I go try and, and see. Yeah, he's running, he's running to town. He's running, running over here. Run, run, run. Running, 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 I'm running over oh, here. Run, 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 run. I don't remember did I pray on this day because I uh, I need I need strength and dexterity. Uh, dexterity will be more pleasant. I want to pickpocket people. <laughs> you know me. I know it's not that really a good walkthrough since he, uh, it's not a hunters, but uh, still strength. Eh, so be it. I'll sleep on there, and then we walk to the field raiders, clean the area because Greg will stay there. And there is another statue of Venus, and I'll pray there again. Hopefully, to be dexterity. What are my plans? No. For now, finish the bandits. Maybe, maybe I will even go to Secops farm and uh, deal with the what was his name, Stone Watcher or whatever. Music. Is This until dawn I really like. While I'm here in the wilderness hunting, the morning will come. Yeah, it's really hard to see now. God damn it. There is another one of those X marks the spot. But I'll come back here later when Greg's give me the the quest to do so. Of course I can just take it now and then save time by uh, be ready with it and talk to Greg, but Still. Uh, if I remember correctly, there should be a rapier here. Something like that. Where? Over here, yeah. Brand still serves, look at me, I was even faster than the Will of the Wisp. Mm, to be exact, I don't remember how long I didn't play Gothic 2 for... Gothic 3 I didn't play for 5 years, that I know for sure. Last time I played it was uh, 2014. I played with the 200, a pure paladin. Something I missed? Show me. Uh. SHOW ME! <laughs> SHOW ME! I got, I got nice. See, it was a good thing to go back. More coins for me. I played as a two-hander paladin with heavy armor and the helmet. With some uh, magic assist such as uh, fireball, ice lens and the uh, heal self. That's it. Just those spells that the paladins use when they receive their fire chalices. It was a very strong build, a lot of HP, a lot of strength, two heavy 200, does a lot of damage. So yeah, it's 2019, I didn't play for 5 years Gothic 3, Gothic 2, Gothic 2, Gothic 2, oh man, oh man, I can't remember when I last played Gothic 2. Not two of them, not two of you. Ouch. Ah. Ouch. They're making funny. The way they walk, the way they make the sounds, it cracks me out. <laughs> the sounds they make. The... Oh man, it's hilarious. What did you wonder to, huh? 
Need your help, you're doing good amounts of damage. Stick around to help. Need to heal. Where is my meat proteins? It's my protein. Give me those proteins. How about omega 3? Some uh, healthy fats. There's no avocado here, there's no eggs, damn it. I need some egg whites, come on. There should be a rep here somewhere around here, if I remember correctly. Ketazo. Kakash senpai. Nani? Mitsketa. Mitsketa zo. Huh? Hidari, ushiro. Shita! Nantu bakaji gara da. Sensei. Huh? Mitsketa. I won't back up from a challenge. Yeah. Sidestepping won't help. Yeah. <laughs> That will of the wisp is funny. There should be a scroll here of healing. Come on, come on. Needle him. <laughs> Those funny sounds when he attacks. Where is the, my scroll of healing? Where is my scroll of healing? Was I bullshitting myself? Of heavy wounds, serious wounds, yeah, no, no, I stay corrected, don't rush, don't rush, oh, there's a lot of them, what the hell is that? Didn't you just save? You save, yeah, did you save again? You saving again? My grandmother could beat the game if she saved as much as you do. My grandmother could beat the game if she saved as much I as you know. do. You just save. Didn't you just save? <laughs> Proteins, come on. <laughs> Ouch, I knew it. I'm still attacking that. <laughs> Come here, come on. Welcome, welcome. Top not short. <laughs> Such juicy and crunchy sounds, oh man, but mushrooms don't really make any sounds. They're more soft. They're very soft. Yeah, come here, come here. That's something for you. <laughs> Ouch. Should be some loot in here, some some plants or something. Stone tablet, maybe I already took it, because I remember I was here nearby. And that demons nearby. Yeah, I was here in the what? What episode 11? Healing plant, never go wrong. Yeah, here is the statue I was talking about. We can pray here. Again. Again and again. Now the big problem will be with this Sintenza. Motherfucker is tough as nails. 
Very tough. I think he have around 1k HP or something like that. Very tough. Strength. What the hell is wrong with you, Enos? What the hell? It's uh, six o'clock. Strength, fine, fine. I don't want to reload. It's welcome. I just want to uh, invest into strength even more now. I really want to equip a better weapon. For strength! Come on, come on, we can do this. That is the fest of the liar. I could have put for you, but I won't. I was surprised, honestly, when he said that. I was like, what the fuck, why not? They will give me another unsigned, you understand? What bullshit is that, they will give me another unsigned? He was just trying to rip me off and not keep his promise. What a bastard. I was shocked, really. I could put a all good fort for you, but I won't. What a bastard. Dirt bag. Douche bag. What a total douche. Intenza. Where are you going? To the farm. Then I have to search you. Keep your hands away or what? Or you won't be able to search anyone for a long time. Eh, looks like I have to solve it the old way. I'm telling you. I will lose to him but I will still try make an attempt to beat him. Probably will take a long, well, a very long time. To tell you the truth, I don't even know why should I try because uh, if you beat him and ask him, I want to join the mercenaries, he tell you just because you beat me. No, I won't vote for you just because you kicked my ass. What we can do is we can pay him the gold, wait for him uh, to vote for us when we join the mercenaries. And then tell him, give us the gold back, and he, and he will be pissed and say, What? After I voted for you, you jackass, and will try to attack me, then we can uh, try to take on him again. Now we can go to road, I have 40 strength, he has a nice two-hander, same model as this one, with uh, 130 reach. But requires 30 strength to use and has uh, 40 damage. Hmm, that sounds tempting. I, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I show, should go and do that actually. Don't you think? Don't you think? <sighs> there should be another rapier here by him. Show me. Show me! Show me! Oh, I Never mind, I find it by myself. Somewhere around here. Somewhere. You beat me to it. Good job, man. Good job. I'm not taking with daily laborers. How many times I have to tell you? I'm not a laborer. Oh, what do you want? Yeah, that's sad. To the child's play. Yeah. How are things? Ah, a new face here on the farm. <laughs> Has the old skin flint finally granted me an apprentice? I'm not an apprentice. I'm not an apprentice. Oh, I see. I'm not as young as I used to be, you know, and uh, I've been waiting for a replacement for years. You aren't here because the neighbors are annoyed, are you? I think he has the same voice as uh, Saturus. It's a good thing. He's. He's uh, really fitting the character, old and... Have you seen bandits? Yeah, I will... What's the work you do that. here? Oh, I guard the sheep, and uh, I've been doing that for as long as I can remember. The animals are very loyal and uh, very smart, you see. If you treat them well, they'll follow you for a lifetime. All they do is eat all day and shit. Uh, 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 what's the trouble with your neighbors? Oh yeah, there is a quest. We need to talk with uh, Bengar again. Everything else alright? <laughs> yeah, besides that, everything is fine. But you know, 
I have uh, money issues, I have aches, I have problems, I have pains here and there, I own people so money, everything besides that is great. What's the trouble with your neighbors? The grass on this side of the big field is always so stunted and dry, so I mostly go to the big pastures of the other farmers. Oh, the landowner doesn't mind, but Bengar, the farmer on the high pastures, always makes a big deal out of it when I take the animals up there. He says Sekob should pay if I take his animals on to Bengar's pasture, but Sekob won't spend a measly coin for that, so I can't go up onto the plateau anymore. If I remember correctly, the way to solve that quest, to solve it, is to take on the, the militia assignment from Torlav, and then defeat the militia and tell him the ship can can be hurt here again. And Bengar ask you why is that? Because I said so. Alright? So be it if you say so. Where can I find the high pastures in Bengar's farm? Follow this path and cross the big crossroad. If you stick to the right, you'll see a big outcropping of rock. Behind that, to the right, are the high pastures and the pass. I don't feel like going to talk to Benga right now. I don't feel like going back. It's not on my way. When we do the assignment, then we kill two birds with one stone. So, yeah. Maybe I should talk to Benga. You do that for me? Yes. What will you tell him? I mean, I don't want any trouble, you hear? We'll see about that. Yeah. I'll solve it. Don't problem. Don't worry, buddy. Have you seen any bandits passing through here? I certainly have. They passed along the edge of the field near Sekob's farm and entered the forest to the north. They were carrying loads of weapons. They looked like they were all set to win the war against the orcs. If my eyes didn't deceive me, they were also dragging a young woman along to the forest. I really hope they left her alone. Oh, I'm just glad they stayed away from our farm. Yeah. Everything else all right? Oh, I can't complain. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. Yeah. Lucia, the woman, is no longer there. Oh, there is Bronco. Bronco, Harm, uh, Harm had a lot of problems with that guy. I don't talk to laborers. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not a laborer. Oh, then what do you want? Take me to your father. I'm his what chief in command. What do you want? You can help me by taking to your father. Now nah, I'll find him by myself. Well, kiddo? That's no way for a farmhand to talk to me. Just how often do I have to remind you? I'm not a field hand. Are you in charge here? He's not in charge, obviously. I'm not a field hand. And what do you want here? <laughs> we have nothing. So you can just leave right now. Oh, aren't you freaking polite? Did someone punch you in the face today? So what do you do when you're not busy playing ruler of the farm? <laughs> Stand guard. The filthy militiamen from the city are coming onto our land more and more often and stealing everything they can get their hands on. Only last week the bastards were here, and they took some of our sheep. If I could get my hands on one of them, I'd make short work of him. Sure. But of course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but when the hero lifts the hands like this, uh, the NPC somehow, like, Lift, lift their heads just a little bit higher. It's very subtle, but uh, you can't see it if you pay attention. Is that how you always treat your field of workers? Of course. Of course, they need that. Whoever doesn't toe the line here gets thrashed. That's the way it goes. I'm the one that does the thrashing here. Me. Why don't the mercenaries help you against the militia? Before they even turn up, I've already driven them off. I need to talk to your father. He hasn't got time, but I'm his deputy. deputy. What can I help you with? By introducing me to your father. 
You're a real tough guy and a good fighter, huh? The best. I think maybe I better get him then. Never mind, boy. I'll find him, I'm sure. Yeah, if you say so. Did you see that when he said like that he was a little bit lifting the hand? There is Bronco now. That is a fucking ox. He's funny. Who we got here? Are you strolling around today, yeah? I'm the boss here, you have to pay me a fine. But let, let's see how I go with this quest. There are mu multiple ways to solve it. You can pay him the gold, or fight him and then tell him the mercenaries will come for him. Wait a second, owner will send the mercenaries. I'll go b back to work. Here, take the gold, just don't bring the mercenaries. Yeah, it's really funny. It's, it's an amazing game. <laughs> How am I going to solve it? Should I pay him right now or what? So where are we headed then? <laughs> are you the foreman Father. here? I'll give you one upside the head, you rascal. If you want to go ambling across my land, you'll pay me five gold coins or you're in for a good thrashing. Ambling? Your land? Are you the farmer here? Forget it, I won't get paying anything from me. I have no choice. Here's your money. Your land? Are you the farmer here? You can bet on that. Why else would I make you pay me a toll? I don't mind if you go ask the others about me. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, would if I could leave the dialogue. Uh... If I have no choice, here's your money. Thank you, and have a nice <laughs> day. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember how to solve this quest exactly. I mean, by beating him, first taking the money and then telling him about the mercenaries, or telling him the mercenaries and then beating him. I think both ways work. Rega, she's hey. nice. Really, really, really tired, if I remember correctly. Filthy thief, just you wait. <laughs> you filthy thief. Yeah, I should pray to Inus for more dexterity. Yeah, because my hey, you doesn't work so well. How's it going? You're not one of us, huh? I'd get out of here if I were you. Why? This wasn't a paradise before, but at least we were left in peace as long as we did our work for Sekob. But lately it's become unbearable. Bandits are everywhere, field raiders destroy the entire harvest, and the landowner is getting to be pretty brutal. But the bitch is young. I don't get why the voice is so old. Keep your chin up. It's easy for you to say. You live in the city. Uh, that's if you're a militia, but I don't remember what she will say if you're uh, guildless. Are you afraid of the landowner then? You bet. If the landowner doesn't like people's faces, he sends his mercenaries after him, and that's the last you see of them. So we prefer to keep our mouths closed. Well, Thinking about Bronco, they made him an actual monster in the returning 2.0. So that's why uh, he's such a big trouble. Shouldn't the mercenaries take care of the field raiders? I don't know what they're being paid for, but certainly not to help us common people. The field raider problem is left to the small farmers who rent the fields from him. How do you protect yourselves against the bandits? We don't. We don't. We run, we run away. What else? Keep your chin up. It's easy for you. Keep your chin up. That's not so easy if you're working for Sekob, the slave driver. No, oh, that's if you're guiltless. But if you're living in the city, if you're a militia... Lately it's got... She will say, it's easy for you, you're in the city. If you're a mage, I don't remember what she says. Hello there, pretty girl. Child's play. Yeah, I should be able to do the boost still save just in case. Yeah. Hello, the beautiful maid. How are you? Hello, beautiful <laughs> maid. Stop trying to sweet talk me, boy. You tell me what you want. I'm busy. That's what I'm talking about. When will honey words ever do any good? How's the field work coming? Look at these huge fields we have to work, and you know how we're doing. Are you looking for farm work? No, actually, I want to become a mercenary. And uh, maybe we'll. No, actually, I want to become a mercenary. Then you're in the wrong place. You can usually find the mercenaries on the landowner's farm. Ask about Bronco, yeah. Say, the nasty fellow over there. That's Bronco. What about him? Is that your farmer? <laughs> Is that what he told you? 
Sackob is our farmer. Bronco is nothing but a layabout and a good for nothing, but strong as an ox. That's why nobody says anything when he doesn't work. The only people who could get him to work are the mercenaries. He's afraid of them. And apart from that, I leave me alone. And apart from that, I'm busy. Now it's first time I play in Gothic uh, one. In previous uh, let's play in Gothic two in English. So everything I'm uh, trying to remember they are saying, I purely translate from Russian. Uh, that's because I played uh, the Russian version all my life. So I'm trying to translate it from Russian. It doesn't always work, but uh, not so bad. You're the farmer. Don't make me laugh. You're nobody really. You, the farmer? Don't make me laugh. You're nobody, really. What? Want me to smash your face in? Well, let's see then what you got. Never mind. Scram! <laughs> oh, you can beat him then. You can beat him and then tell them. I will call the mercenaries on you. Let me try. Scram. There's this guy who demands a toll from every passerby, claiming he's the farmer. Uh, yes, I know. That's Bronco. He does whatever he wants. Not that I haven't pounded it into him a thousand times that he should finally get back to work. But? He just doesn't do it. My father's quite annoyed with me that I still haven't managed to persuade him to go back to work. Maybe I can help you. Maybe I can help you. Do you mean that? Okay, listen, if you can get Bronco to go back to work, I'll pay you, shall we say, 10 gold pieces? What do you say? No problem, but I need more gold. No problem, but I want more money. All right, 20 gold pieces then. I want more. I want more. 30? More. I want more. <laughs> Maybe 50? Del. I want more, nah. All right, I'll see what I can do. All right, I'll see what I can do. But hurry up about it. You can push no more than 50. Trying to ask for more, he just won't give you. He, he'll tell you, eh, I don't remember. I don't have the money or anything. Thank you for doing it for me. I don't have the money and then go figure. You can't do anything about it. 50 is a good price. He will be like, eh, fine, deal is a deal. You the fuck? What? Want me to smash your face in? Come on, let's see what you got. Oh, Sekub's the farmer here. You're nothing here but a small. Sekub is the farmer here, and you're nothing but a small time crook who's trying to wangle money out of people's pockets. Says who? Says me. <laughs> Sekub wants you to go back to work instead of loafing around here. So what? What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna trash you. And then I'm gonna threaten you with mercenaries. Well, let's see what you got. I hoped you'd say that. Let's rock. Yeah. Oh, the will do for King Will. That's not a good thing. She's throwing like an axe. What the yeah. I hope he doesn't kill me because that would be stupid. Hey, you! <laughs> Apple. Yeah. Come, how many we need? 21 or 44? I think we need 24 to increase our strength. <sighs> it's about almost 8 o'clock evening. And tomorrow. Don't you try that again. I'll uh, make more episodes for you. So, still got that big mouth? Don't beat me, please! I'll even go back to work, okay? Wait a minute. Um, yeah, we need to threaten him with mercenaries and then beat him. Because if you threaten him with mercenaries, you'll get 50 experience, so why not? Let's me, I forgot what I saved. Jesus Christ. Short memory, god damn it. <laughs> 7.40... Yeah, that's the last one. Need to... Get rid of the Will of the Wisp. Blah, 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 blah. You're the farmer. You... What? What? 
Seco is the farmer here. Se says. So what? What are you going to do now? Now it's going to be funny. All right. Then I guess I'll have to tell <laughs> Onar, the landowner, that there's a farmer mouthing off here who refuses to pay his rent. <clears throat> Wait a minute. <laughs> Onar will send all his mercenaries after me. So what? All right. All, all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you whatever you want. But leave the mercenaries out of this, okay? Here, I'll even give you all my gold. And I'll go back to my field. Anything but the mercenaries. <laughs> Wait a minute. So, how is working like a bee? So, busy as a bee, are you? You won't go fetch those mercenaries, huh? I'll even go back to work, okay? <laughs> of course. You'll regret this. <laughs> oh, really? Let's rock. <laughs> Ah, what's my blocking? Damn it. <laughs> what lucky. Five gold pieces. I got lucky there because he could uh, hit me with the uh, critical and will be down right now. Four strength. Come on. That's a cute X, I think. It's really lovely. I don't know how a weapon can be cute, but you know don't what I mean. Don't you try that again. It's small like that, it's... Wait a minute. Appealing. So, busy... You won't go fetch your... Don't beat... Don't I'll even go back... Don't beat me. I'm so till somebody owes me 50 gold pieces. Bronco's back at work. Really? That's terrific. Yeah. yeah, and now I want my cash. Mm. Well, business is business, right? Yeah. Is there some uh, leather satchels here? Hmm? Not. None. Oh my god, I just remembered. I forgot to open the chest near uh, Elric. I looked at them and I wanted to open them, but then I forgot. Jesus Christ. What are you doing on my land? There's nothing here to steal. Clear off! Isn't there a piece of land in this blasted country that doesn't belong to anyone? Go to work. Then maybe someday you can call a piece of land your own. But until then, kindly loaf around somewhere else. Listen, I... Listen. I don't have any work for you at the moment. Now go. I'll be back. There is a chest. There is still something to steal. How can you tell me there isn't? Right, left, left, right, 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 left. Yes! 20 gold pieces. I broke one lock pick that cost 10 gold pieces. So I made a profit of what? 10 gold pieces? This will open in the key in chapter two. Hey! Simple. Nah, I know how simple. Everything all right with you? Well, it's so-so. My back hurts from all this hard labor. What are you doing here? I don't get visitors here all that often. Usually, it's either some cutthroats from the mountains or those horrible malicious soldiers from the city. They've been raiding our farm rather frequently lately. But you don't look like you're one of them. Or are you? No. What are you doing here? Answer the question. I've been asking myself that for several years. Sekub, my husband, has fallen out with everyone in the area by now. He's in debt everywhere. And so he steals goods from Onar's stocks and sells them in town. By now, he's accumulated a fortune with his underhanded dealings. And he works our field hands until their backs break. His own people call him nothing but slave driver these days. I'm not particularly proud to call myself the wife of Sekob. Believe me, sometimes I wish the barrier were still in place. Would you like to buy something to eat? Or perhaps something for hunting in the forest? Show me your cats. What can you offer me? What do you want? Battle crossbow, yeah. Walnut. Walnut bow. 
Barrier? Barrier? Well, it's the dome that used to enclose the old Valley of Mines. Many of the farmers and workers who committed a crime back then were simply tossed in there, and they never came back. Exactly, what is wrong with you, hero? Don't you remember just a few days ago we were in the penal colony, behind the barrier? Have you ever been at the barrier? No, we only heard about it. Bengar, the farmer on the high pastures, can surely tell you more about that. His farm is quite close to the pass, which leads to the Valley of Mines. How can I get to Bengar's farm? Go ask Balthazar. He's our shepherd. He sometimes leads his animals to graze on Bengar's pastures up there. He'll be able to tell you how to get there. Why did the militia attack you on your farms here? Because there's nobody there to prevent them from simply plundering our farms instead of buying our goods. The king is far away, and we just have to put up with working for Onar and hoping that Onar will send help when we really need it. <laughs> what does Onar's help look like? Yeah. Sometimes we receive warning in advance when some militiamen are planning to pay us a visit on their own account to rob us. Then we send somebody to the old landowner to ask him for help. And then usually, it doesn't take long for the mercenaries he pays to come here and chase off the militia. But when all is said and done, the mercenaries aren't much better. Keep your chin up. Keep your chin up. Take care of yourself and don't let them get to you. Now it's back to training. Still have bandits to kill. Now, if you remember correctly, in the original Night of the Raven, there are uh, field raiders and goblin skeletons there, and the goblin skeletons always kill stall for me, the field raiders. But in this patch, he moved the field raider uh, above the bandits where we where we were uh, moving with Laris to preserve them for me. That's why I like the mod too. I can freely walk here right now. Usually I was using Swamp to slow time and use a fireball to kill the field raider before the skeletons can do that. Now I don't have to worry about that anymore. Level up! You're probably thinking, what the hell was that? How did you hit him when you didn't swing the axe? The thing is, you can still do a 4 uh, hit combo when you finish the attack like that, you just press forward again and, and it will hit, uh, make another hit without you even moving the sword. It's a kind of a bug, uh, it's a bug but whatever, it works, always did. In Gothic 1 it uh, works also. You press 1, uh, 2, 3 and 4 again and you make another hit, fourth one. Even, even though it's invisible, trust me it works. That's how I was able to kill the field raider. Wait a second. No! Ah! I needed to lure only one of them. No 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 Bleeding. Oh shit, they're going to walk near the mercenaries. <sighs> I have to put up with this bullshit. When they're gonna come back here, I need to go near one. And try to lure him. Just one, somehow. I have uh, cure light wounds now. Yeah, nice. Where did it go? Uh, oh, there they are. Now, how do I take one of them only? They look like this from... Goblins from Ma the Mummy movie. 
The first one, I think. Anyway, so welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. Need to join the ring of water as soon as possible. I need the the stuff. They have the 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 water water ring stuff. It's a blunt weapon. Does bludgeoning damage. It's very good against skeletons. And it has very wide uh, range. <sighs> Not range, uh, reach. Range, reach. It all sounds the same. Love me, hate me, it all tastes the same. Dark mushrooms. Now, I forgot to use him. He could be of great help here. Show me. Show me! Oh, I there should be zombies, or is it chapter 2? Cracker X. I already have it. Yeah. 12 of them, actually. Theodore, 2020. 310. 310, may his spirit be free. I don't know, let's bless this buddy. There is another one of those filthy beasts. King Sorrel, sweet. That cost a bit. One mistake in your bed. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sons of bitches. Yeah, this is the last one. Oh no. Ah, oh, shit. Did I, uh, did I kill those things? Short memory? Yeah, this seems to be the last save. Yeah. Just the logic all over again, goddammit. 